Organ is the most popular map in Siege, but most people play it wrong. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you five tactics you need to use for Oregon. Let's get into it. The first route I'm going to be going over is the Armory Hold. Most people leave Armory to the attackers for absolutely free, giving them control of Trophy, which is a crucial mistake. Instead, you want to be playing in this area with Mute, Legion, or Alibi. The reason I chose these operators specifically is because they have relevant utility, of course, but also they have a shotgun for this hold. With the shotgun, you want to open up head-high holes all along Armory and the Master Wall so that you can watch Master from Deep Armory. As you can see, I'm in Armory and I have a huge angle onto the Master Door as well as anybody trying to walk into the Master Closet. If you're playing Mute, put a Mute Jammer on top main right here. You also want a Mute Jammer on the top of main right here. Just in case they have a Flores to try to drone through this window and try to like Flores open this wall, which has happened to me, or they try to Flores barbed wire or a deployable shield here, you just don't want them to be able to drone through this window into Trophy. You also want a Mute Jammer somewhere on the Master Door here. This just makes it to where they can't go and drone you from this doorway to see your hold right here. You know, they don't, you don't want them to be able to see the head holes in your hold here, so you put a Mute Jammer right there. And then lastly, if you don't have any sort of like wall denial like a Bandit or a Cade, you can use your Limp Blast Mute Jammer right here on the wall, or you can put it on top white if you need to, doesn't really matter. This will make it to where they can't drone you from any of the important angles, allowing for easy kills. If you picked Legion instead, make the exact same holes while putting Legion mines on any of the attacker entry points that they could possibly push you from in order to get free information so you can swing off of these mines and get free kills. If you picked Alibi, make the exact same head holes, but this time put observation blockers on these head holes. What this is going to do is make it to where if anybody drones in Master, they won't be able to see your hold, but they also won't be able to see any Alibi clones behind these observation blockers, making it to where when they run in and they shoot the Alibi clone, you can easily swing and kill anybody that's getting pinged currently. You can do it on these same exact head holes right here with an observation blocker and a clone right behind it. And then also what I like to do is I'll put a clone on this window, I'll break the hatch, and then I'll prep this window. That way, if anybody is on the window above me and they end up shooting the alibi clone, I already have this window open. I just drop the hatch, run out, and then I get a free kill. So that's a pretty cool strat. And your last observation blocker can go somewhere inside. It doesn't really matter, but that is pretty much the first strat. The second strat is an elbow Oregon rush. For this, you want a blitz and some smokes or somebody else with smokes, preferably. As Blitz, your entire job is to run into Elbow and quickly take control of Elbow, killing the shield player and holding this key position passively while your teammates do their job. Have your teammate smoke off the head holes that are typically here, as well as the door that is typically here, and you'll pretty much be set as the Blitz to walk in without anybody shooting you in the back and do your job here. Once you have control of Elbow and the main part of construction, your work is pretty much cut out for you. Have one of your teammates take control of Pillar by dropping the box hatch and going through Pillar, or going from the back stairs and then going through Pillar. Either way, you need Pillar control to get free control of this entire side of the map and get an easy plant so that people don't push your hallway. The best operators to help with this specifically are obviously Blitz to rush, and then you have Gridlock for her ability to help with the plant, but also for the smokes for the head holes, like I said, and for the door. And then Ying with hard reaching charges to get the box hatch and Ying pillar and then drop, or she can also just go through stairs, like I said. And finally, Lion for supporting the Blitz by scanning whenever Blitz rushes in and getting the plant down. So that's pretty much it for the second strat. This third strat is a Ying push on top floor Oregon, as Ying brings smokes and have somebody with grenades with you for the strat. You're going to push the big window in dorms. Early round, again, you're just going to shoot open the big window and try to bait anybody ego peeking you. So within the first minute, you want to play passive on this window after shooting it and wait for anybody swinging here, or maybe swinging off the dorms, or maybe even somebody trying to pre-fire you through this wall. You just bait them and get a free kill. If you can do that, cool. If not, wait for your teammate to get to the bottom white window, which is this window right here. As you're waiting for him to do that, you can get on your drone and drone out dorms. If you see that somebody is here behind dorms, have your teammate with grenades on the window nade anybody that is in dorms from below. As you can see here, I'm a teammate with nades, and I'm just going to nade from below from this window to help my ying out on the window. If he's able to get this kill on the person in dorms, then that's great. If not, then you're going to throw a fully cooked Ying Candela blind as your teammate also throws a grenade. This will make it to where he doesn't even hear or see that he's getting naded and he either gets killed or he sees that he's getting naded and he moves out the way and then you as the Ying get a free kill. Either way, the person in dorms now should pretty much be dead. If all of this fails or if no one is in dorms in the first place, then comes the most risky and fun part of the strat. Have your teammate that was on the bottom white window grenading push all the way up to top white stairs. This teammate now is able to hold a huge cutoff in between the sites so that whenever you push into the big window, nobody can go in this hallway or on this doorway to kill you or shoot you and deny you from planting. When your teammate gets top white control, 
This is where you hop into the site. You're going to smoke the feet holes that are typically on your left right here. You're going to throw a one charging candela over right there. Now, I actually threw that wrong. Typically, you want to throw it over the shelf so that it blinds right about here. This will blind anybody that is in this general vicinity or anybody on the kid's door that would be able to deny you from walking in. Also, if there's still a person in dorms, obviously you want to ying them too. And then you're going to use your last smoke whenever you hop in right here. This will allow you to come into here and plant behind the shelf right here so that you can win the round. Now, if you ended up not using a smoke, and you have a smoke left and a ying candela left, then you want to use that smoke in the post plant. If you still have ying candelas left, however, after the plant or right before you plant, you want to throw a ying candela that is not cooked at all, and you want to let it roll just like this. Now, the reason we don't cook it at all is because most defenders, when they hear a ying candela roll, they're going to run away or at least try not to look at it whenever it rolls towards them. If this is the case, it gives you so much time to be able to plant the bomb because nobody is pushing you. Also, if you throw a yin candela just like that after you plant, let's say I get the bomb down and I throw it just like this, it gives me time to then leave and get on the window to then be able to easily deny the plant if I need to. With your teammate on top white able to hold a cross, he's able to also go down white and use the grenade holes that you used earlier to deny the plant from below. With your teammate on top white and you in dorms in general, it's very hard for them to defuse and deny if you want your teammate to plant and if you and your teammate play passively, which is why this strat is so good. The fourth strat is a Valkyrie setup for Oregon and a pre-placed Nitro from below. As Valkyrie, shoot out this portion of the top of the trophy wall, then throw a Valkyrie camera where you shot to get a full view of, as you can see, trophy and attic. Next, put a camera somewhere in master, like down here, maybe under this lamp here, or in the most common place in the top corner of this room right here. Your final camera needs to go somewhere in dorms so that you can watch the double window hop in. This will be very important later. You can either put it somewhere in the shelf, which again, can still watch the big window and isn't super obvious to many attackers, or you can make a camera somewhat like this that will watch the dorms hop in and all of kids as well. Either way, you just want a camera to watch this double window hop in, which will be very, very important later. As Valkyrie, you're going to play below, preferably with your teammate to cover you if you have one and if needed. You're going to pre-place your nitro cell below closet, where most people would try to get the wall open. Then get on your camera. Go to the master camera that you pre-placed earlier. Whenever you see someone run into the closet like a thermite to try to get the wall open, you can easily deny it with your nitro cell that you pre-placed right here. If no one pushes the side of the map though, then you can pick up your nitro. But if no one's pushing that side, then chances are they're probably pushing the other side of the map, which is why I had you place a cam for dorms. As Valkyrie, you're going to rotate into the comms room and pre-place a nitro below the double window right here. Then get on your dorms cam. Once you see them hop into this window on your camera, blow up the nitro and collect your free kill. This can also work below the default plant all the way over here or the plant right here. But if they're pushing dorms, you can also put it below the plant right here, all while being completely safe playing below with Valkyrie camera. The fifth strat is this Fenrir attic hold. As Fenrir, place a mine in attic right next to this keg right here. Put a mine inside of trophy right here, or you can put it up there on top of the bear head right there, it doesn't really matter. Put a mine on top white, put a mine for the window walk-in, and put a mine for the wall walk-in. The key to this strat specifically is playing super, super passively. You only wanna peek whenever you hear your mines go off and that way you can swing off of them and kill people who can't see you. Pair this up with his Bailiff to make head holes for trophy, and pair this up with a barbed wire that can easily help his Fenrir mines slow down the attackers even more, and you can start to see what I'm getting at here and why this is such a lethal strategy. All you have to do is just sit lower attic right here and swing off of any of the Fenrir devices that go off to get free kills. If someone walks into trophy through either this door or the master door, you just sit behind the reinforcement, wait for the Fenrir device to go off, swing either doors, and get a free kill. If someone's pushing your upper attic, you just sit right here, you wait for the Fenrir device to go off and them to get slowed by the barbed wire, you swing and get a free kill. If anybody walks in from the breach right here to try to plant maybe behind this foosball table here, once the mine goes off, then you swing, you peek, and you get free kills. You never want to be swinging in any other scenario other than them hitting your mines. If they push the back site, like dorms and top white then, then you can rotate right here, and you can sit top white right here. With these head holes right here for the wall walk-in, you can cover top white, the wall, like I said with the head holes, and you're able to cover the window walk-in. Overall, making the strat super effective no matter where they push. Obviously, if they're pushing dorms, the mines you want to activate are the mines for the window, 
the mines for white, and the mines for wall. If they don't have the wall open already, it's pretty acceptable to activate one of these two mines either way. If they're doing a master push, you want to obviously have this one. You want to have this one in case they get the wall open and you want to have the attic mine activated as well now like i said if they don't end up actually getting the wall open let's say you have a bandit a kid or a mute that denies that you can use your third one for top white because a lot of the times people on top white are able to get a huge long angle into anybody inside of trophy on these heddles which is where you're going to be playing so as long as you play super super passively and you only swing on your mines whenever your mines activate and you're aware of all of the different angles this can be a super lethal effective and even easy strategy for most players to do but that's pretty much it for the five strats that you need to start doing on Oregon. Check out this next video where I go over all of the best Valkyrie cams for every single map, including the map that I just went over, and I'll see you in the next video.